Hi friends, it's Dr. Cherry. I loved your colorful birds last week. They are so good. I want you to hold on to all of your artwork that you're creating with me during this quarantine and we'll try to have kind of an art show when we get back to school because I think everyone should see all of your fabulous artwork. This week we're working on creepy crawly slimy things. So let's check off that we did our colorful bird. And now we're on to creepy insects. So here's my sample of a creepy insects. I've got a spider, a ladybug, which isn't really creepy unless there's a swarm of them, then they're kind of creepy, and a snail. And snails leave these slimy trails behind them. Same thing with the slugs. And I think they may be very similar. We'll have to ask Miss Matice the difference between a snail and a slug. I think one just has a shell, the other one doesn't. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Again, we're gonna go step by step with all of these animals, creatures, with our drawings. And so since I like the spider the best, let's start with the spider. Again, we're going to use just basic shapes. So for the head, let's start with kind of a square. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing's perfect. It makes it your own creation, which is what we want. <clears throat> then we're gonna add two curved lines. One's like a C and the other one's like a backward C. These are gonna be our teeth. Good. Now we're gonna add some scary eyeballs. You can add as many as you want. I'm adding three. So his head's just about done. I'm gonna add a little piece for his neck. And then for his body, it's going to be kind of brown shaped. Triangle with a round piece on the end. We're almost done. All he needs now are legs. And spiders have how many legs? I believe they have eight. So we're going to put four on each side. Got that? Okay. We're gonna make these more three-dimensional by flushing them out a little bit. And that spider is done. Now, on my original piece that I showed you, the spider was right side up, but I think for this, let's turn them upside down so that we can add the spider web, like he's coming down from the ceiling. All right, so that's one creepy crawly. The next one uh, we t that we showed you earlier was the snail. So we're gonna start with a swirly line. In first grade, we learned about different kinds of lines. Swirl was one of them. So that's gonna be his shell. Now we're gonna just add his body. Right? Make his head a little bit bigger. Got that? When you have it, give me a thumbs up. Now we're gonna add the little piece on the bottom that makes the slime. Those are kind of like his legs. That's how he moves. Those little bitty slimy parts. So he needs his antenna. You can make them any shape you want, but he has two of them, correct? And he needs an eyeball. There's his eyeball. And I'm gonna just make the slimy trail that he's leaving behind. Okay, so we've got two out of the three creatures that we were talking about. The last one is going to be the ladybug. Ladybug, we're gonna start with a triangle shape. Doesn't have to be perfect. It could be a little bit round on the bottom. She needs two eyes. And let's add her antenna. Got that? We're gonna have a round shape for her part of her body. And then we're gonna add a 
bigger round shape for the rest of her body. That's going to be a big fat ladybug. Nothing wrong with that. That means she's eating well. I'm going to add some legs. We're almost done. What does she need? She needs eyeballs. And the most important part of a ladybug is the spots. Right. So we're going to add some spots. Okay, so here's where the problem solving comes in. What kind of environment can you create where all of these animals, insects, creepy crawlies, would be in the same place together? While the ladybug, unless it's flying, needs to be sitting on something. Let me add the line down her back. Okay, so let's have her sitting on maybe a rock walking on a rock. Be a ledge. And then my snail is just crawling by the land and the spider's hanging out. Maybe there's a tree branch nearby that he's hanging from. Now if you wanted to, you could add more creatures on the ground you could add more spider friends hanging from the spider web. Anything you want. Now if we go back to my original, I did put a big rock for my ladybug to stand on, a slime trail for my snail, and my spider hanging out. I've got it during sunset. There's a small tree hanging off the corner where the spider is hanging down from and some things in the background to make it more interesting. You could add anything you want. Maybe it's a full moon. Yeah? Maybe in the background is a fox. It's going to come out and eat all the critters. Up to you. I can't wait to see how you solve this problem. How can you put these three critters in one picture together? That's your job for this week. I can't wait to see what you come up with. I miss you terribly, but I have enjoyed seeing your artwork and hearing about all the creative things you're doing at home. So, till next time. Bye.